welcome to the Valen. I'm Night Valen, your host, and we are playing Kerbal Space Program. Hardcore mode, sort of. Alright, so, we've got more science, we've got more money. It's time to spend both of them. We did about 30 years missions. We have this all in the archives here. Um, plus all the missions we did before. A lot of these things were just repeats, which is fine. Uh, let us go into our research and development, and we will take up the... Uh, fuel systems, because this is something we're going to need to get to uh, further destinations other than... <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to need this to get to uh, further destinations outside of Kerbin. I mean, not necessarily, but I prefer to have the fuel systems. On top of that, I do want the smaller fuel tank as well as the interior. So let us get that. And with that, we have monies, which is good. We have science spent. We only have 12.3 science left. So today, we've already accepted the mission. We are going to do Operation Falling Miss. Uh, now, Operation Falling Miss means we are just going to miss falling toward the planet. A.K.A. orbiting. We are going to make this an unmanned si uh, situation, so we want to make sure that we have all the goodies we want. So we're going to put four rechargeable... Whoops, scroll in here. Four rechargeable batteries on there. In the future builds, I will probably just speed up things like this, but this one is kind of, you know, just me showing off the fact that I can build something to get me off into space. Alright, that's not what I want. I want that. Alright, so we have ourselves our main stage there. Uh, I shouldn't call it a main stage. It. Ooh, we do not want four of those. We want one of those. And we're going to place this about center there. And that will be our communication tron. This is also going to double as our temperature satellite. It's just going to orbit around Kerbin. Uh, since we're getting into orbit and we're using an unmanned probe to begin with, might as well make it useful. So we're going to call this the Temp Sat MK 0.0.1. This is our early beta or alpha build of this thing and hopefully it works. If it does work then we can go straight into the production stages later on. But for now we're just stuck with this. Alright. So uh, we get all our main components on there. We could throw science on there but we are worried about a part limit. So we want to make sure we stay within the part limit which we're already at 11 parts out of 30. So yeah. I am just going to go and toss one of these bad boys on there. And and we are then going to need a fuel tank. So let us grab one of these smaller fuel tanks, throw that there. We are going to then go and grab one of these uh, interior liquid fuel stage or fuel engines. And then we're going to throw another stacked coupler on there. Scroll out. And then we are going to we need two of these, so one of these. Throw that there and grab ourselves a swivel put the swivel down here that way we have some control while we're flying up and about make sure everything is nice and staged properly let's scroll out a little bit so we can see so this one we want to be left alone this one needs to go with that one all right so far staging is good our next stage we click this and scroll it up a bit our next stage is going to be a bit uh, of a lifting stage uh, we're going to have a uh, primary stage, a uh, lifting stage, and a secondary lifting stage. So let us get our primary, or our secondary up there, which is going to be a thumper. And then our other one will be, uh, we want structure. We want four radial decouplers. One, two, three, four. Plop those on like so. We're going to also want two thumpers. Or not thumpers, uh, hammers. We're going to want four hammers. What am I talking about? So we threw the four hammers on here. Hope that's all lined up. Let's check. Whee! Hey, and this build's not actually all that hard. Alright, so everything looks good. We have our main uh, launching stage, which is nice. We also have our uh, secondary uh, lifting stage. We have our primary orbital stage and our secondary orbital stage. Hopefully, this will be enough to get us out there. Uh, we are going to cut down the fuel thrust or the uh, thruster limit to about 66. 66 for these guys and this guy. I think uh, we can back him down to about 70. 
in theory, this should work. Because this should have enough lifting power to lift these through the upper atmosphere. And these should be enough to get these guys going on the right trajectory. Alright, so... Let us test this bad boy. From this point on, we will be fast forwarding once we get to the launch day, or, uh, platform outside. Alright, so... Get ready for the... Oh, well, before we do that, we need to do our flight check. Obviously, we need to throw this down there. That way, that's all set up. This bad boy needs to come down here, so that is all set up. And, okay, our staging is good. And I will see you guys after the fast forward. Alright guys, we're back after the fast forward moment there, and we are needing, oh jeez, there we go, that's what I was looking for. We are needing to adjust our curvature here, as well as increase our um, trajectory around the planet. We want to make, well, our speed around the planet. Uh, we don't want to go much too high, um, and let us switch over here. As long as we can maintain our speed and distance, and as long as this stays above five seconds, we should be good. Let's increase this a little bit. It'll increase our apoapsis, but it'll also increase our time to uh, apoapsis, which is good because we want to make sure that we stage perfectly. Now, as long as this stays between uh, uh, five and 30, we should be good. And we are just increasing our speed so that we fall faster around the planet than we do toward the planet. And there's our 30. Let's shut down the engines and pick up speed here and kick back on our engines. Just keep this going. And we are at 5 over on that side. We are at 8 on this side. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Launch. And a little more. And a little more. All right. It's not as circular as I'd like it, but it's pretty dang close. And we have achieved orbit. Ladies and gentlemen, that was fast. That was done. And that was easy. So let us test out our satellite. Uh, first, we'll position it in a proper um, orientation. Uh, we want to position it toward the north here because that way we can get as much solar activity going if it stops wobbling. As much solar activity for this probe as possible. Uh, that way as it orbits around the planet, sun will hit it nice and pretty. So now that that's done, let us check our thermometer. Hello, Mr. Thermometer. Oh, zero science, but that's fine because we're going to test out our transmission. And the transmitter works perfectly fine. Everything is a go. Everything is green. Let us revert back to the space center. So from now on, we have a temporary, or uh, a permanent satellite with the ability to adjust its orbit slightly until it runs out of fuel. Uh, hopefully it won't need to adjust its orbit ever, but, you know, if this was a real uh, space game, like if it was a real orbit, orbits decay over time uh, as you bleed off speed. Uh, right. So, missing control, do you have any science around Kerbin? Nope. Well, that's a shame. Alright, so that's going to end this episode. It's just a real quick mission, and hopefully the next time we can send Kerbals up there and get that stuff done. Until then, guys, it's Night Valen for the Valen. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Welcome to the end card. If you made it this far, why not check out another one of my videos? Have any suggestions or criticisms? Leave a comment below. For business or fandom related stuff, hit up my email. You can find it in the description. 
You can also follow me on Twitter or subscribe to keep up to date with new releases. Want a Kerbal named after you? Comment below with the hashtag Kerbal.